Hi everyone, it's art market season. What I thought I would take to my markets is these little hand painted coasters. So, oh, <laughs> uh, I thought I would take you through the process of making these and a little bit of footage from my first market of the season and my thoughts on it all. So let's go. If you're new here, my name is Sally and I'm a mixed media artist in Australia and I was hunting around online one day and I found these wooden coaster sets and I thought wouldn't it be cool to paint these up? So I got some clear gesso because the coasters are quite smooth so I got some gesso so I could just prepare the surface for paint and I just painted one coat on these and then let them dry for 24 hours. So I just pop them aside and then the next day they were ready to sketch on. So I just used my Prismacolor Color Race pencils to sketch on these and that was super easy. And I thought what I would do is a few different sets. So a set of Australian birds, a set of Australian animals. I did a set of cats. And I think I'm going to eventually do some dog coasters as well. So this is the process of painting the king parrot. This is the female king parrot who has more green on her. Uh, the male king parrot is this brilliant bright red, but I was also going to paint an eastern rosella, which had a lot of red on it. So I wanted this one to be a little bit different. Uh, so with the, the mostly the green feathers, I thought the female king parrot was a good choice. And uh, you'll see later in the painting, she has bright red feathers on her chest. Um, you'll see a little bit of that in this piece here. So the king parrots are local to me and they're super friendly birds. I love when I see them in the yard. Uh, they're just, they're gorgeous. They have beautiful sound, really friendly. So I had a lot of fun painting these and paying tribute to my local wildlife. I used acrylic paint to paint these. Uh, I started with the neon underpainting, which I like to do, and that's in acrylic gouache uh, by Holbein, and then I used acrylics on top. So acrylic painting is something I'm relatively new to. I studied with oils and then for the last few years I've just been doing watercolour and gouache paintings but yeah I've been dipping into acrylics lately mostly because I've gotten quite a collection now through art subscription boxes and so I thought I would use those up and yeah I'm really stoked with how these came out. So I did my first layer of colour and then I just went in with another layer just to add some texture so I could get that feather texture in. And I think they came out really cool. So my painting process is pretty much just blocking in basic shapes and colors and then just going over and adding in the details on top and there's not one way that I do this sometimes I start with the light shades sometimes I start with the dark shades it really just depends on how I'm feeling on the day and uh, the great thing about gouache and acrylic especially as compared to watercolors is that you can paint your lights on top of your darks so I really like having that freedom of layering however I feel like it and I thought I'd give you a not sped up close-up of putting in those juicy white highlights uh, this is what brings a piece to life I think it just adds so much when I know when I've put those highlights in that's when everything just comes together just adding a little bit more feather texture. And 
and I thought I would just pop a little couple little stars in the background and that's my female king parrot co-star finished it's cute right so this is the set of birds that I finished I've got a magpie kookaburra there's the eastern rosella i've got a gala in there i've got a corella uh, and then i've just got a stamp with my website address so i just stamped the back of the coasters uh, with my website and then i sealed them all so they're all good for hot drinks can go on them i road test i painted one and kept it aside for a couple of weeks to use and i test it with hot drinks and cold drinks with condensation and yeah all good all good to go i, I wanted to be confident that they were going to be all safe to use and the paint wouldn't come off or anything like that or there wouldn't be any mishaps before i actually sold them to people and yeah they're all good to go so i'm going to show you a little bit about me painting the kangaroo coaster and how i very rarely use black paint and i actually mixed up a beautiful gray tone for the kangaroo's fur just using red green blue and white and I think you get a much more real to life, richer tone than if you would use just a black and a white. So I encourage you to experiment with mixing colors and trying to not rely on using black, even for your darkest dark tones. I do sometimes add in a Payne's gray, uh, which is a really rich, dark blue toned gray for my darkest darks, but I generally don't do a full black paint. And I like the challenge of having to mix my tones without relying on that. So this is my little gray kangaroo with the beautiful long lashes. I think that's why I chose this reference image because that eye on the far right is, just, they just have these gorgeous long lashes they're such beautiful animals so this is the eastern gray kangaroo and these are also local to me uh, they're quite big uh, the the males can reach up to two meters in height so that's what like six foot um, but yeah they're gorgeous I absolutely love kangaroos Popping in those white highlights again and then 
doing yeah, the little highlights on the nose and adding in some whiskers. And then I'm using the Payne's Grey just straight uh, as the lashes and then some little stars around the background and then that's my kangaroo. She's cute, right? So I did a kangaroo, an echidna, I got a wombat and a koala. And then the other thing I had to do to get ready for the market was to sign and package up some prints. So I had some prints made from my Draw Halloween pieces and then I have a bunch of prints from my Mythical Pinup series. So I was signing all those and getting those ready. I thought I'd take those to the market with me too because I love this series. I've got those in two sizes, the A4, the larger size, and then the A5. And then I just popped like a backing card into a glossine bag and had them all packaged up so they were all safe for people to be able to pick up and flip through and have a closer look at. This is a print of a collage that I made and then I just packaged up the larger prints as well so they were all safe and secure. And I also made a set of postcards of Sopranos characters. So I have 10 postcards in the sets of little portraits. So I put some sets together so I could package those up and take those to the market as well. I've had these for a couple years and they're always a really good seller. Um, it's such an iconic show. I love the show so much. And these are really fun portraits to work on, so it's nice to have this little set of postcards that Sopranos fans can buy. And then I've got these little block printed blank cards, so I packaged up some of those to take to the market with me as well. And I did my block printing ages ago, like right at the start of the year, and I definitely want to do some more, but these were fun. I just painted the background with gouache and then stamped the front with the print. So there I'll package up with a little envelope. And then I made a sticker order of some of the cat coaster paintings that I did. So I've got these cute little cat stickers now and I've also got some bird stickers on the way too so I'm looking forward to getting those so I had these available either individually or as a set of four and they're just a little bit smaller than the actual coaster size but yeah I've got the four little kitties there so these stickers turned out really great and here's my little spot at the market. It was such a beautiful day. Couldn't have gone any better. So I just had my stickers on my prints there. I had a little tabletop easel. Don't eat meat. Ooh, cut out sweet. Ooh, you get a painted room when you're top top. Say so I had a really fantastic day. Uh, I did the market with my mum. She hand makes greeting cards, so it definitely runs in the family. And I had a really nice time doing the market with her on this glorious sunny day. So I ended up having a really good day. These are the coasters that I've got left over and I will be listing these on my website. I made just under $200 on the day, which was a huge success for me, I think. Uh, it almost paid for my car service the next day so that's a bonus and I, it was a great experience I'd, i'll definitely do some more so yeah thanks so much for watching i'll see you next time